told me he loved me. He told me I was the one. He told me I was different. I gave him everything, and he still left me. That was a good miss. Ah, <laughs> 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 <sighs> <sighs> look at this. Hi. Hey, babe. How are you, baby? You're coming over to help me with my blog, right? Oh, your blog. <laughs> Bro, no phones during the game. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of busy right now. You know, I completely forgot about it. Well, what are you doing instead? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of real busy right now. Yeah. Oh, Chinese food. Do you, you can just, you want to bring some food over here tonight? Um. Yeah, that's fine. I'll do that. I'll see you soon. Hey babe, what's up? Hey, uh, listen, the guys, they canceled on me today, so you're coming over, right? Oh, well, I made plans with my friends and said that you were going out. Okay, well, I'm not out anymore. Look, whatever, do whatever you want, fine, whatever. Just don't keep running to me and complaining that we don't keep hanging out all the time. Okay, I'll meet you there. Bye bye. Hey guys, I think I'm gonna sit this one out. Yo, let's get All out right. of this. Later. Next time. I wasn't perfect, but I was a good girlfriend. I cared for him, I went out of my way. I even put aside my own priorities for him. I was worried that if I wasn't always there for him, he'd leave. But he left anyway. It's so dumb. I don't know why I still care, but I keep scrolling through his Facebook and his Instagram and his WhatsApp, and I shouldn't care, but I keep doing it. You know what, genuinely? I think this is really the time where you can start focusing on yourself. That relationship was draining so much of your energy, taking so much of your focus. You'd put your work aside, you'd put your friends aside. And so often we end up losing ourselves in our relationships. I think this is the time that you can really find yourself again. I think you need to take a moment, take a step back, press pause, reflect, and use this as a period in your life where you can reinvest in your own happiness, your own fulfillment. Ask yourself questions like, what is it that I'm really passionate about? What am I excited about? What is it that really fuels and drives me? And when you start there, you'll find that you won't be looking for someone else to fill those gaps. And one of the things I really want you to remember is that it's not about being with someone who makes you happy, it's about being someone who makes you happy. I started focusing on myself. I was taking care of my health, spending time with my friends again, and even managed to complete my own blog. Oh, oh, man. Happy yeah. hour. I want yes. some margarita. I know. Yeah. Yeah. It's like four Miller oh, Lights. Yeah. Sugar. Good. Yeah. Okay. Sarah, yeah. Sarah. Yeah. Sarah. Yeah. hi. Hi, guys. I'll just with you guys in a sec. Listen, you look fantastic, you know? Thanks. You too. What have you been up to? Oh, lots of things. Obviously, I got these good things going on. Um, I got a, my band is doing real well right now. Yeah, just things have been going real good so far. So. Awesome. Listen, do you wanna you wanna grab coffee sometime? No, I know you're like hanging out with these guys, but. Yeah, I'm with uh, I'm with my friends right now, but you know oh. I'll see you around. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I'll see you around. Bye. Bye, sir. I won't lie, it felt really good to be in a good place when he saw me, but you know what? I don't want my happiness to be based on his feelings, because then I'm doing the same thing again. I don't feel like I'm not good enough for him or have to be better for him anymore. I'm just going to do me. Jay was right. Before being with someone who made me happy, I needed to be the someone who made me happy.